From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode's brought to you by the audiobook Inside the Mirrors by Jason R. Davis. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Snortable chocolate powder? It's now available in the U.S. Why? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Phil Collins says he's drinking again, despite previously saying that alcohol was killing him. Collins, who is currently on his Not Dead Yet tour, insists he can now control his boozing and is capable of enjoying a couple of glasses of wine. Okay, people, I'm not dead yet, but I may be on my way, so get your tickets now! An MIT researcher was arrested on federal charges of insider trading. Prosecutors say the man Googled how SEC detect unusual trade before he bought numerous stocks and options that netted him around $120,000 in illicit profits. The man also searched for phrases such as insider trading in an international account. Okay, you know, if you're going to do something illegal, you might want to erase your browser history. A British study conducted by researchers at Warwick University shows that receiving a promotion might pad your wallet, but it also could be bad for your mental health, leading to more stress, anxiety, and depression that you're too busy to properly treat. Well, yeah, maybe, but you know what? I I'm willing to risk it. A giant iceberg about the size of Delaware that had been under scientists' watch has broken off from an ice shelf on the Antarctic Peninsula and is now adrift in the Weddell Sea. So everybody, time to panic! It'll float here in about 80 years, at which point it will have already melted and no longer be newsworthy! Everybody run! Researchers in Scotland say that when dogs listen to music, they seem happiest when listening to reggae or soft rock. That, that's, that's strange. I mean, I would have guessed that they would like who let the dogs out. Australia's Dean Stinson apparently has the bar set pretty low, calling it the greatest moment of my life. Stinson thought it would be fun to check has his only baggage on a Qantas airline flight from Melbourne to Perth a single can of Emu export beer. Yep, he was thrilled to see it arrive safely, saying, there she was, alone on the carousel, proudly making her way around. It was perfection. <laughs> well, according to the BBC, Stinson has become a hero to beer drinkers with this stunt. He says that he and a buddy who work at the airport were trying to figure out the oddest thing that they could successfully check in as luggage. And while it did work this time, Qantas doesn't want to suddenly see a frat party worth of beer in its luggage compartments. A spokesperson said, this guy's done it, he's won the internet for the day, so we're happy to move on. During his recent arrest for public drunkenness, Shia LaBeouf told a black police officer that he's going to hell because of his skin color. And thus ends the career of Shia LaBeouf. Some places, maybe your state, have taxed sugary drinks like soda and sports drinks. In France, it's now illegal to sell unlimited soft drinks at a fixed price or offer them unlimited for free. All right, okay, fine. All right, well, then sell the soft drink, and then all refills are only a penny each. There you go. Problem solved. Macy's is going to try Black Fridays in July to boost sales, which I know sounds crazy. Uh, until you realize that that's about the time Walmart starts putting out the Christmas decorations. If you've been feeling a little under the weather lately, but you can't figure out what's wrong, maybe you just need an old woman to lick your eyeball. Yep, over in Bosnia, 80-year-old Hava Celebic, or Nana Hava as she is known to locals in her village, has supposedly cured 5,000 people using the unusual technique and claims to be the only person in the world who possesses this ability to heal with her tongue. She charges 10 euros – it's about $11 here in the U.S. – for the procedure in which she uses her tongue to remove pieces of lead, iron, coal, sawdust, and glass from eyeballs after sterilizing her mouth with alcohol. All right, you know, it, it sounds to me like maybe she likes to sterilize her mouth with alcohol even when by herself. A lot. A new study finds that the Americans are far behind the rest of the world in getting enough steps each day. As a result, health advocates are advising designers of shopping malls to place their stores farther apart. 
MSNBC host Joe Scarborough has announced he's leaving the Republican Party, to which the entire world responded, wait, MSNBC hired a Republican? You love doing things on Facebook? Well, guess what? In reality, it's making you blue. A Harvard University study found that the internet networking site and other social media are major contributors to career anxiety. In fact, the researchers declare it's actually making us miserable. Now, ironically, Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook while attending Harvard, but the Boston University researchers say the website creates an online culture of competition and comparison. It steals away our time and prevents us from forming close relationships. And a comparable study at Stanford University reveals that many users have more negative experiences on social sites and overestimate exactly how much fun other people who use them are actually having. Facebook is making us unhappy by making everybody else look really, really happy," says Harvard study spearhead Daniel Gulati. Uh, so how can you avoid these Facebook traps? Well, experts advise setting a designated time to go online instead of checking in on your personal page throughout the day, and to build closer and more rewarding relationships. Meet with your real-world friends for a meal or drinks instead of just posting messages online. Hey, if you want to read this story for yourself or share it with a friend, I have posted it to my Facebook page. Well, that makes five times now that Nancy Pelosi has called President Trump President Bush. Is there not a time during Alzheimer's where you just need to get out of the public eye? A Washington State man is being charged with sending a bomb along with one of his fingers to the IRS. Yeah, uh, this guy definitely needs to be locked up. But you got to admit, we've all wanted to give the IRS one of our fingers. A report says that the super-rich are buying nuclear-safe bunkers in Kansas to survive an apocalyptic event. Now, all right, well, unless you're planning on moving to Kansas, how does this help you? I mean, if you're one of the ultra rich in, say, Los Angeles, and nuclear war breaks out, well, you're not going to be able to make your way to the breadbasket of the country, right? I mean, you'll likely be charred remains while complete strangers are already living in Kansas, and they'll take comfort in knowing that you unknowingly built them a nuclear safe bunker. Please support my channel by sharing the Daily Dose of Weird News on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. For even more weird news that I didn't have time for, go to DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!